this is Pamela and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. I'd like to say welcome to my channel. Well, today's video, uh, I'm just going to show off a few things. As you guys know, I've been out of town Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday to a minister's retreat, which I thoroughly enjoyed. That was so much fun. I got to meet so many people. Um, good food, good fellowship. Um, yeah, it was just a wonderful trip. Okay, um, let's see what I wanted to show you guys. There's this company... Cadelphia, um, I think that's how you pronounce it. They sent me this product right here. It's upside down. <laughs> so I will show this in another video, an unboxing of this. It's a pretty cool website. It's a lot of kits, basically. Little flower kits and little animal kits and things like that. And so I'm very excited to dig into this and see what it's all about. I actually plan on making this for you guys as a video to showcase it, see how it works, see how their instructions work, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, let's see what else do I have. Oh yes, I am, I just released the uh, stitch this week is the V's in a row stitch. Here we go. There's the V's in a row. You can do single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, or triple crochet, and I did double crochet on this one. But yeah, that stitches out for the week. And then the week before, I did the match stitch design, which Doreen um, is working on a cardigan for this. Perfect. I love that. So now I'm going to have to do a cardigan with it. <laughs> All right, let's see what else. Oh yeah, I'm still working on the Annie's kit. Let me grab that for you guys. I am loving this one. This is the Trellis Lace Throw. This is from the Annie's Crochet Kit. The Hook and Needle Kit Club. I do have an affiliate link below. I'll leave that for you guys if you're interested in doing this. You know, you can cancel any time. And if you really like it, um, you can keep it. <laughs> I love the Annie's Crochet Kits. I've been with them for a very long time. Let's see. This is what I'm working on. I was a little nervous about this yarn at first because it does have the little halo to it. Um, but... It, I love it. I absolutely love it now. This is so soft, and I just can't wait to get this done. I love this color. And um, if I was to run into any trouble with it, they do have a left and right-handed uh, tutorial, but so far I haven't had any trouble with it. It's been very simple, very easy to go. Very good instructions, nice and glossy, and they have crochet and knit. So just want to throw that in there for you guys. But this is the... Um, it's using, I believe, a 5.5, yes, a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. It's a two fine yarn, and see what I'm talking about, the little fuzzies, the little halo. Uh, so I was a little nervous at first with it, but uh, the more I'm working with it, I'm finding that it's not a big deal like I thought it was going to be. <laughs> All right, let's see, what else do I have for you guys? All right, so the other thing I've been working on is this um, tilted block oversized shawl that I've been working on for Crochet Foundry magazine. But here it is so far. This is some wonderful yarn. I am loving this. And of course, I love this sage color. It is beautiful. The yarn that I'm using is, um, it's a Furls Wander acrylic yarn. Right there. Very soft, very nice. I love this yarn. So I'll leave um, some links below for you guys if you're interested. But this is the second time I've worked with Crochet Foundry. And it is the second time I've gotten a furrows hook from them. This is a J6.0. And um, now when I did my other project with them, it was a little different to me working with a furrows hook. But by the time I got to this one, I'm in love. I'm hooked. <laughs> so now I want, I would love for all my crochet hooks to be furrows. But, you know, they're pretty expensive. <laughs> so I'm just going to get, I guess, one at a time, little by little. I plan on crocheting for a very long time. So I've got plenty of time <laughs> to gather up um, or get me a nice little collection of furls hooks. But this is very nice. I love this. Oh, and I got my nails done the other day. The hot pink. I guess it's like a fluorescent pink or something. 
I love that. I went in there and um, got off the, I forgot it was kind of like a copper look color that I had and I went to the hot pink to, take, uh, to wear to the minister's retreat, which I loved it. I thought it was just perfect. <laughs> it was time. I was about a week overdue. I had um, so much of my little um, nail part showing through and I did my video in it. So if you want to see what I'm talking about, watch my last um, crochet stitch of the week tutorial, the V stitches in a row. But, uh, you know, I just couldn't couldn't go get them done until after that video was done. So anyway, um, yeah, that's what I've been working on. Um, trying to look around. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and announce the winner. Let me see. Let me uh, show you what the winner is going to get. Okay, this is going to one lucky winner. All this beautiful cotton yarn. Not the basket, just the yarn. <laughs> My sister Tanya told me I need to, when I have giveaways, to start displaying the yarns in baskets when I can, kind of like Hobie does. <laughs> I thought, well, okay, that's a great idea. So I went and found me a basket out in the garage and... Um, so I'm displaying my cotton yarn in it for the giveaway. All right, let's go ahead and pick the winner. All right, congratulations, Sue Ann. Okay, here's what Sue Ann says. Um, she says, hello, Pamela. I would like to win this cotton blend yarn. I do not believe I have any. God's blessings to you, Hugh, and y'all. So, Sue Ann, I would like to say uh, congratulations and um, so excited that you won this. And I did check and you are subscribed to my channel. So, guys, uh, be ready because I will have another giveaway. So, Sue Ann, you need to get back with me. You've got one week to get with me. Uh, just send me an email to psbarton99 at sbcglobal.net. And um, I will send you a saying congratulations uh, to go into the winning comment to that video. And um, I will have you to edit it and type in a special word. And that's all you need to do. Because I need to confirm that it's you and not someone trying to steal your prize. <laughs> You'll appreciate it too, um, if that was to happen, if someone stole it, you'd appreciate people doing that, these channels. So anyway, so everyone, please tell Sue Ann congratulations. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the things that I've showed you that I'm working on. And I have more products, projects going on, guys. So I look forward to sharing those with you. I just didn't want to you know, make this video too long, <laughs> but I do have several other products, and um, I am still working on the crochet along with the squares. Guys, I haven't forgotten you guys. I've just been out of town so much, and um, so I thank you guys for being patient with me. About the time that I was getting to ready to getting ready to put that border on that blanket, I moved, and it just put a damper on everything, and I'm, I'm really behind on things, and I'm trying to Work with Hobie and the Crochet Foundry, trying to meet the deadlines that they have and, um, you know, still do the things that I'm having to do in my new house. <laughs> but I am enjoying every moment, guys. I may act, I may sound busy and I am very busy, but I am loving everything that I'm doing. And I just want to say I love you guys. So thank you for subscribing to my channel and thank you for the comments, the likes and the shares and all that good stuff. I just want to say thank you guys very much. All right, guys, uh, that's all that I have for this video. Just remember to live life, have fun, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.